everyone and welcome back to my channel my name is katie and i'm looking all decked out today for my tbr for the readathon of the soul which is a bts themed readathon yes i'm a bts fan i have gotten addicted to them in the past few weeks and i need to thank my friend jess for <laughs> really fueling my obsession i want to thank them so much because they have really enabled me to be bts trash and now here i am filming a tbr in a sweatshirt that is merch for them i went to see the movie like i'm doing things that i didn't think i'd ever do for any band ever so um that's where i'm at i honestly just think it's because and it's like not even for like i can't even understand the lyrics because obviously i don't speak korean and i think it just goes to show that their popularity worldwide is because their music transcends language but also when you read the lyrics in the language that you speak you just see how much they mean and then the songs that have so much feeling behind them have even more feeling and i think it resonates with a lot of people which is why they are so popular and also they are all just pure little cinnamon rolls and i love them the perks of being noria has created the readathon of the soul and is taking place august 20th to september 20th so it's kind of going to be catching the back end of my newts tbr for august slash arc august slash uh and then the beginning of my september tbr so we'll see if i'm posting i probably won't post a september tbr on top of this maybe i will that's probably too ambitious considering there would only be 10 days that don't count for this readathon so it's kind of like an end of august beginning of september tbr and i'm just here for the fun times in my cool sweatshirt that i'm obsessed with here to uh you know have bts fun times and i'm doing it with a bunch of friends that are also into bts so i think it's just gonna be a good time all around how do you do the little heart thing like this i can't do it this this i think it's this it's supposed to be a little heart I just learned that. So this is based on their album Map of the Soul Persona and this album kind of marks like a new era in BTS and I guess it's like the Map of the Soul era whereas before it was like the Love Love Yourself era. I don't I don't know the specifics but I think all the songs are really cool and they have really cool lyrics that are very meaningful and each of the prompts for this readathon is the track list and the prompts kind of match the message of the song. So let's get into it. The first one being Persona. <laughs> So for Persona, the prompt is an own voices book that represents you. For this one, I'm going to be reading Turtles All the Way Down by John Green, which is own voices for anxiety and OCD. And I do struggle with anxiety, so I think that this will be a good book for me. And also I was sent this book by my grandma who read it and said it was really good and had really good anxiety representation and she knows I am an anxious being. So she actually sent me this copy and I think because my grandma sent it to me, really made me want to pick it up whereas before I didn't really know like when I was going to pick it up or like if I was but I don't know just something about the fact that my grandma went out of her way to send this book to me just warms my heart and of course I want to read it so I can talk to her about it. Turtle All the Way Down follows Aza who is pursuing the mystery of fugitive billionaire Russell Pickett with her best and most fearless friend Daisy even though she never intended to get wrapped up in this. And I do know that Aza in the story struggles with anxiety and OCD and it deals with this. John Green's books tend to bring the tears. I remember when The Fault in Our Stars first came out and like everyone was obsessed with it, myself included, and like that was a real tearjerker so I kind of can see where I will probably relate to her on some level and may make me sad, may make me cry. Love yourself, tear. Yeah, and it's interesting because I don't read contemporary a lot and I've especially never read a contemporary that deals with anxiety specifically. So I'm really interested to see how I like reading about my own experiences. So next is Boy With Love, which is really how I started getting into BTS a few months ago when they released the song because I love Halsey. I love Halsey so much. And then she did this song with BTS and I was like, well, 
now I need to investigate further. And the song is a true bop. It makes me so happy. I just want to dance around and oh, it's amazing. That song is a true bop. I love it so much and I'm so happy that's what got me into BTS. So it has a special place in my heart. For this prompt, it is a romance book or a book with love in the title. So I have two potential options that I could be reading for this prompt depending on how life goes. If I have time at the end of August, I really wanted to get to Serpent and Dove by Shelby Morin. I got this arc and I really kind of want to read it before it comes out on September 3rd. And it is a enemies to lovers story with the one bed trope pretty sure i saw a tweet from the author like forever ago instantly intrigued and i can count this somewhere in my notes i don't know louise leblanc is a witch who has escaped her coven and gone to hide in the city of Cesarine. and there is reed who is a witch hunter and has spent his whole life hunting down the witches that have the magic that louise does and so after a public scandal, the two are forced into holy matrimony and holy my god, I want to read it because enemies to lovers, French, witches, what more could you really want? And like, this arc has been calling to me, so I may get to it sooner rather than later. I don't know, we'll see, but I can count this one for this prompt if I get to it. If not, I do want to do a reread of Carry On by Rainbow Rowell because Wayward Sun is coming out September 24th and I'm going to the signing for it. And I may have like three copies coming in the mail, maybe. This is just a, it's like the worst chosen one ever where they are at this like parody of Hogwarts and Simon Snow is the kind of Harry Potter-ish character and his roommate is Baz, the vampire. And basically everything goes wrong for Simon. Like he's really bad at magic. His girlfriend broke up with him. His mentor, the Dumbledore-like character is kind of like, peace out, bye, I'm ignoring you. And the monster is running around wearing Simon's face. So I was gonna potentially reread this one on audio just as a refresher before Wayward Sun comes out. I think it'd be a really good book to experience that way. And I am trying to see how I like rereading books on audio because I think it can just be fun to re-experience an old favorite in a new platform. Either one of these choices could count for that prompt and we will see where I get by the end of this readathon. heartwarming song and that is Microcosmos and that is a book that means a lot to you or by an author that changed your life. For this prompt I am doing Sorcery of Thorns. Yes I have two copies. <laughs> this book I read in June and it's my new favorite book ever so obviously I wanted to choose it for the book that means a lot to you. Elizabeth the main character in this book is described as an agent of chaos and that is something that I definitely relate to. I just think that she's so tenacious and smart and I just love how this book feels like a love letter to people that love reading and love books and it just resonated a lot with me and I love the characters in this book. They just fight for what's right and don't give up and like I just love it a lot. It's just everything that I could ever want in a standalone fantasy and I adore it. Obviously you can see that this book means a lot to me because I am cuddling it. <laughs> And I will be actually rereading this one on audio. I'm probably going to start it the first day of this readathon, which should be the day that this posts. So now you know. I'm probably going to start it this day. And it's on Scribd. And I have like a Scribd link in the description if you're curious to try it out for two free months. It's just like anyone that joins Scribd can give out their link for anyone else to use. So it's a pretty cool program. This is our pick for the Overhyped Book Club in August. And I'm very excited to have a discussion with the lovely ladies of the Overhyped Book Club about this to see 
if it's worth the hype or not. I mean, I think you know that I think it's worth the hype, but do the others? You'll have to tune in to find out because we could have some interesting discussions. That's all I'm gonna say. It's gonna be August 30th or 31st. I'll leave information in the description below, but I'm excited for it. I'm excited to reread it. And again, reread a favorite in a new format because the first time that I read it, I annotated it. I underlined it, all that good stuff. So I'm gonna see if I'm gonna like pick up on anything more and like just all that goodness. And yes, I love this book. That's why I have two copies. <laughs> For make it right, the prompt is read a book with more than one author. And I need to make right the fact that I have not picked up Aurora Rising yet, which is by Amy Kaufman and Jay Kristoff. I have been looking forward to this all year and I have not gotten to it yet just because ugh, there's so many books I'm looking forward to that I haven't gotten to yet, but you know, that's besides the fact. I loved the Illuminate Files. I love sci-fi. I just like love the witty ness and the cleverness of Jay Christoph and Amy Coffin in space. So I need more of it in my life. I needed to get to this book when I heard that they were coming out with a new series in space. Like I literally freaked out and then I saw the cover, Charlie Bowater cover. I mean, I need to make right the fact that I haven't read this yet. So this takes place in the year 2380 and Tyler Jones is the star graduate of a space academy. And he's ready to recruit the crew of his dreams. However, he kind of gets stuck with the rejects, which include cocky diplomat with a black belt in sarcasm. Sounds like my kind of character. A sociopath scientist with a fondness for shooting her bunkmates. Also sounds like my kind of character. A smart ass tech whiz with the galaxy's biggest chip on his shoulder. An alien warrior with anger management issues. I think that's the hot space elf that um, they had referred to Christoph's Twitter and a tomboy pilot who's totally not into Thai, in case you're wondering. And that is not even the biggest problem that they face. The biggest problem that they face is the fact that they found Aurora G. Lynn O'Malley stuck in cryosleep in the middle of space. And she could be the catalyst for a war millions of years in the making. I mean, just space shenanigans, adventures by two of my favorite, by an author duo that have already written one of my favorite space books. I mean, it just sounds like a recipe for both disaster and amazingness. So I really, really want to get to this one soon. I just like, I'm so excited for it and I can't believe I haven't gotten to it. So now this readathon prompt is perfect because it will make me pick it up. Another bop <laughs> for home is going to be a reading book with a BTS bias. And yes, I have not talked about my bias up until this point. So there are bookmarks that are provided that were made by Hanura for the readathon, and I have them here. Now you may be wondering which one is my bias, and that is <gasps> V. Do the thing that is V. I love him. He is my bias. Taeyong is my bias. Okay. Okay. And then if you're wondering who my wrecker is, that would be Jungkook. <laughs> yes, I'm extra enough that I printed out all of uh, the bookmarks and laminated them. So um, that's where I'm at in life. So I'm probably going to use this bookmark or one of the other bookmarks throughout the whole readathon because why not? It's so cute. I love them a lot and like they're really cool and fun and of course I want to read a book with my bias and if you're watching this and you're not into k-pop 
don't know what a bias is that was me three weeks ago a bias is basically your favorite member of a k-pop band not just limited to bts and then your wrecker is the person that makes you question everything okay probably like your second favorite but also like they come in like a wrecking ball for your heart and for your bias and so for this one i'm going to be reading dark dawn by jay kristoff because I, it comes out September 3rd and I basically want to read it immediately when it comes out and this is the best place to fit it on to my TBR. I love the Nevernight series and I've been waiting for Dark Dawn for so long. I read it in February but like Dark Dawn was supposed to come out last September and then I got pushed back a whole year. So for people that have read Nevernight, you know, like way in the past, like kudos to you because I don't, I can barely stand having waited since like April. This is Nevernight and God's Grave, the US editions. This is God's Grave, the UK edition. And I'm holding up this book for my description of Nevernight because it's arguably the prettiest. I mean, look at these end pages and when you take off the dust jacket, no word on the Nevernight reprint of these editions yet because they are not printed in hardcover in the UK anymore. Um, but Jay Kristoff, if you're watching this, please um, drop some information for my soul, please. Thank you. Nevernight follows the story of Mia Corvair, who has watched her whole family be killed by the corrupt government of the Empire of Itria. And so she embarks on a journey to join the Red Church of Assassins and become one of the best trained killers in the world so that she can exact her revenge. And it just is like, the coolest, coolest series. And the way that Jay Kristoff words it is that he says this right in the beginning of Nevernight that the three books are, are birth, life, and death. And so Dark Dawn is the death book. I'm a little concerned, I'm a little scared, but so, so excited to read it. It's written in the style where there are like footnotes throughout the book and it's so, witty and unique and inventive and I really like the writing style. It's adult fantasy. It's gotten me more into adult fantasy and I just think it's so masterfully written. Nevernight Chronicles are just everything and the lore and just I'm blown away by the series constantly and how good it is. I feel like I am just like uh, when I try to describe it but I'm like it's amazing. Just trust me. Okay, so that one is Jamais Vu, which I just googled and found out that that is the opposite of Deja Vu. So it's a French psychology expression. And the prompt for this one is a book about mental health or a book you read that you can't remember well. So this one, I'm going to be reading The Storm Crow by Kaylin Josephson, which is part of my Newt's TBR as well. And this one was going to be for home, but I changed it to mental health because it in the description talks about how one of the main characters is thrown into a deep depression. So I'm hoping that it touches on her mental health and if not then like whatever i tried and this is actually going to be a buddy read with jess from tundra tomes steph from shut up and read and madison from princess of paperback and i'm so excited the storm crow is about the tropical kingdom of rodare there are elemental crows which are part of everyday life in this kingdom and then kingdom of Volusia comes in and invades and, and destroys all of the crows and brings Rodare to its knees. After this occurs, Princess Anthea is thrown into a deep depression and so her sister Kaliza is busy running Rodare while Thea just ruminates on all the things that she lost including becoming a crow rider. When Kaliza is forced into a marriage with a prince of the invading empire, Thea is finally spurred into action and her and her sister set out to do the impossible and steal a crow's egg and bring magic back to the kingdom and igniting a rebellion. Just sounds super cool and I'm interested to see how depression will be handled in a fantasy setting. I've also heard there's a love triangle. Honestly, I've been kind of craving a love triangle. So, Stormcrow, 
I'm gonna read it. It's gonna be a buddy read with friends, and I'm gonna use my bookmark because that's the point. That's a fun song. And the last book and the last prompt in the readathon is a diverse book or a book with Greek mythology. And this is perfect because one of the characters in this book is Dionysus, which is the Greek god of wine. And that is going to be Percy Jackson and the Olympians, number two, The Sea of Monsters. I bought this box set a while ago to keep up with all of my friends that love Percy Jackson and are rereading it. There's a reading Riordan book club that I'm trying to keep up with them. And I read this book so long ago as a child and I don't remember it and now I wanted to get back into it because I do want to know more about Greek mythology and there's so many books that Rick Riordan has published and I, I want to be part of the fun. And so this is the second book in the series and I think it involves a cyclops because there's a cyclops on the cover. And basically after the events of summer camp in The Lightning Thief, Percy Jackson is back in the seventh grade. And when his friend Annabeth arrives, she brings the bad news that the borders that protect Camp Half-Blood have been poisoned by a mysterious enemy. And on the quest to the Sea of Monsters to save their camp, Percy will discover a new secret about his family. I mean, this is all just good, fun, and really easy reads. And I'm, like I said, I just want to know more about Greek mythology and learning it through such a fun and wholesome series that everyone loves. It's just a good time. All right, that is my TBR for this readathon. I'm so excited for it. I'm so excited that it came at a time when I'm just getting into BTS and I've fallen completely down. <laughs> The rabbit hole. I love Map of the Soul Persona. I hope you enjoyed my dorky dancing because I honestly had a lot of fun doing it even though I felt quite silly at times. If you're curious, this is my bullet journal spread for the readathon. I did this last night and I just love the way it came out. It's super simple, but and then here are the pages where I can fill in all the prompts. <sighs> Music that touches the soul, Map of the Soul. And this album is all about finding who you are and being yourself, your persona. And I'm excited to read these books that, you know, kind of talk more about that stuff and fit into the prompts. So with that being said, let me know if you like BTS down in the comments below. If you do, who is your bias? If you're not into BTS and you're curious, please just watch the Blood, Sweat, and Tears music video. It is a gateway drug and that is kind of what really started all of this. If you want to talk BTS with me, please, please slide into my DMs. I'm always down to talk about BTS. And with that said, have some fun, read some books, and catch you guys in the next one.